people. So here is the deck profile for the Infinity Dot deck, pretty much. You know, I wanted to incorporate, you know, both the Cyber Dragon Fusion and Infinity, but it didn't work out that way. It seems like it's just like Infinity is the better one, so Infinity, 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 Infinity. I'm tired of this deck. I'm tired of using the deck. I'm tired of people seeing me use the deck. I'm tired of dueling the deck. I am sick and tired of Infinity, you know? A ton of people are saying, like, oh, oh you know, we should ban Patola Miles because Patola Miles makes uh, Infinity. Like, just ban Infinity. Like, if, if you, if, like I said, if you ban Patola Miles, then decks like this, literally decks like this, where I don't even run Patola Miles, can flourish because Infinity is still a card. But if you ban Infinity and not Patola Miles, what's the best thing you're really going to go into with Patola Miles? Fucking Pleiades with one extra material? That fucking, uh, what's that one monster? That pr one YCS prize card, I think? The one that you, like, mill the three cards at the top of your deck, and if there's an off your opponent's deck and there's any monsters, destroy cards in your opponent's deck. That, like, there's, n there's not a lot of things you can do with Patola Miles in comparison to, uh, just Infinity, you know? Like I said, because with Patola Miles, they don't even go into Shockmaster anymore. They only run Shockmaster, and they also do just Patola Miles, three types of scene materials, slap on Nova, slap on Infinity, and, you know, that's, that's the dumb thing, you know? If you couldn't slap on fucking Infinity on the Nova, then... You don't have to worry about just ban Infinity, you know? You shouldn't have made the card in the first place. Cyber Dragons really didn't need it. The card doesn't even need to exist. It's, it's gonna go down in history. It's probably one of the most broken monsters in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, you know? Cause, God, just look at it. Just look at it. Anyway, I went to try it out. It was busted. I won a lot of duels that I shouldn't have, and I won them with ease. And it got boring, and I'm sick of it. So, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and move UAs to uh, Sunday. I had a tag deck, and uh, this deck is off. I'm tired of it. So. Uh, I'm going to quickly go to the deck profile, give my uh, opinions about various cards in the deck, and, uh, you know, that's it. <laughs> I'm done with this deck. But of course, we have triple Cyber Dragons. I mean, it wouldn't be a Cyber Dragon without triple Cyber Dragon. Uh, generally, because I'm in a tag duel, I don't special summon it like that, because my pack partner summons first, and my opponent zen me, so unless my opponent killed my opponent's... My opponent killed my partner's monster, uh, generally I won't special summon Cyber Dragon, but sometimes I do. Uh... Then, of course, triple uh, Drei. Yeah, it's German, so Drei. Uh, this card, of course, and you summon it, becomes level 5, so of course you can just go ahead and you're supposed to just exceed into a Nova, but nah. You can, you can just slap the Infinity on a Nova, so it just makes it even more fucking busted. Uh, I don't use the Banish effect, because I don't Banish in this deck, clearly. So, literally, it's just another monster that's a machine that could turn into a level 5 and exceed into a uh, Nova. I uh, can't go into Pleiades because I can also have some machines, but why would I want to go into Pleiades when I can go into Infinity? Uh, of course, Triple Cyber Dragon Core. This this card is really really the core of the deck. When pretty much when you summon this and you get your search for this and you have no cards in the deck, this pretty much can turn into an Infinity because you can go ahead and activate this, search for Dry, then activate this, banish it, summon the Cyber Dragon, summon the Dry, and then bam, there's an Infinity right there. So. You know, core also with the power of machine dupe. Uh, core is just ridiculous. As you know, it was fine when it was just when it was just you, but now since it's just you, it's just it's just dumb. And then, of course, uh, triple galaxy soldier. You know, galaxy soldier is seems like he's much better in fucking other decks than his own deck, and this is clearly one of them. So he just happened to be a machine, and uh, you know his ability to go ahead and pitch another light, which is you know a handful of these monsters are light. And go ahead and add a galaxy monster from your deck to your hand, including himself. You can just add another Galaxy Soldier, because it doesn't say except for Galaxy Soldier, so Galaxy Soldier, pitch, summon Galaxy Soldier, search for Galaxy Soldier, and then if you want to, you can go ahead and pitch another light monster, summon that another Galaxy Soldier, you only get the search effect once per turn, so that would technically be uh, an egg, but who cares, you're gonna fucking XE into fucking BAM, go into Nova, BAM, go into Infinity, you know, or you could go into Pleiades, but nah, nah, Infinity, Infinity not bad. We run triple uh, Chronomally Golden Jet because it's another monster that can go up to level 5 because once you turn you can increase all the levels of your Chronomally monsters. You control by 1 and clean this card so it would go up to level 5 machine. Bam! There's no one. So there's uh, Infinity. So just like this, pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, I was running two quick Donald Shackles. I don't like this card. I do not like this card. And if you're running a single player, and the real reason why I put this monster in here is because I wanted to play like Solar Wind Jammer or something along those lines. Let me go ahead and search up Solar Wind Jammer. Solar Wind Jammer, which is another level up 5 light machine. So if you control the monsters, you can push some of this card uh, from your hand, but sort of attacking. So it's just like kind of like a Cyber Dragon card. If you're playing single player with this deck, run Solar Wind Jammer. Don't run fucking Quick Draw because he's not good. 
He's not good. The only reason why I ran him is because I didn't want to run Solar Wind Jam because, of course, with my tag partners, if they control a monster, this would kind of be a dead draw. But, wow, this on the other hand, if I have the only need of the monster, like I said, it doesn't, this doesn't say, you know, two level five light machines, it just says machines, and who's level five uh, uh, machine? Bam. Quick draw. The only problem with quick draw is that, of course, he negs on summon. He's kind of like uh, Galaxy Soldier, except I don't get that search. So I'm negging on summon, and then one of his major fucking problems, he's not light. There's been a handful of times where I'll have a fucking Galaxy Soldier in a quick draw, and I'd be like, wow, I wish you were light. If you were light, I could do something with you, but no, you're fucking win. So, like I said, if you're running this deck single player, run Solar Wind Jammer. He's, this card's much better than this in single player. You know, I saw Agent Eyes running, and he was running this and tuning and all that, and I was just like, uh-uh. At first I was running this at three, and I was running the tuning, and then I didn't like that. I didn't like the random middle of the tuning, so I cut down the tuning and cut him down to two, and then I still kept getting them, and, you know, uh, the previous video where I dual have dragons, he was being a problem, but I wanted to keep him in the deck just so I could talk about him for the deck profile. I don't like this guy. No. No. I don't care if you're a level 5 machine. No. I'd rather use you, not you. So there you go, there's the monster. Of course, triple Instafusion, because chicken Instafusion, not for Noden. And fuck that Noden, no. We like to summon this guy, Panzer Dragon. I don't think I've ever really used his effect, so, you know, if it's destroyed, I can target a card that's gonna destroy it. Generally, I don't. I never went like, it's the some Panzer Dragon, alright, in the phase, Panzer Dragon, destroyed, destroy one of your cards. I don't think I've ever done that. You could do that, but I don't think I've ever done that. He's a level 5 machine, so, of course, just another, you count this as another monster, so pretty much, instead of running 17 monsters, I'm running 20 monsters. So, Insta Fusion, go ahead and summon him, and bam. It, instant, instant, like I said. Uh, when it comes to Noden, Noden's very powerful, Noden's fucking busted, I know. But Insta Fusion has always been very busted. Since, since the existence of Synchros and Xyz, Instafusion has just been incredibly busted. Just being able to pay a thousand life points to summon a level five or lower from your extra deck, which of course doesn't even cost you your normal summon. Noden just takes the cake though, because he summons another monster. So not only are you not using your normal summon for a monster, but then that monster can summon another monster from your graveyard. It's just ridiculous. But Instafusion has always been busted. It really has. I'm surprised that he didn't get hit sooner. You know, uh, you know, we have thousand hour strict ban because of this card. If you want to go, I would rather have it the other way around. I'd rather have Instafusion banned and thousand hour strict at fucking three who cares because unless you're fucking playing a goddamn relinquished deck with thousand eyes idol you're not making fucking thousand eyes restrict but with insta fusion insta fusion paying a thousand summon fucking thousand eyes restrict take your monster oh my thousand eyes restrict dies in phase there goes your monster so we won for one oh but thousand eyes restrict doesn't have to be summoned properly so um call the hunted oasis you know soul charge whatever go ahead and summon thousand eyes restrict back and now it's here to stay and you know, Thousand Hour Six is a very powerful card. You know, it's too powerful for you to be not summoning it correctly, definitely. But like I said, I would rather have Institution banned. Like I said, this card has just been just bad, bad since Thousand Hour District and it's synchroing. Because of course, you summon your tuners Institution into a level five or lower, so your non tuner monster go ahead and synchro summon. Xing, this card has just been re fucking ridiculous. So that what else would you to have that one because I'm noting. But Noden is still at three. Like I said, I would go ahead and ban just ban Insta Fusion. You can have Noden at three. You can have Thousand Hour Strike at three. Just ban Insta Fusion because this card is ridiculous. Like paying life points to summon a monster is just crazy. Easy access to Synchro Nixies. So that's how I feel about that card. Anyway, next uh, two Overload Fusion. Uh, I wasn't sure the ratio of the fusions I wanted to run. I really didn't like uh, Power Bonds because I didn't generally like using the Cyber Dragons in my hand because. If I'm using the Cyber Dragon in my hand, then I'm not making Infinity. Like I said, it started to turn into Infinity Drop deck. So, I, I decided to go ahead and play two over the Fusion. Three was cloggy, so I was like, alright, just two. And pretty much, I go into an Infinity, you kill that Infinity, and then I just go over the Fusion, and I can go ahead and banish pretty much, you know, the Nova, the Infinity, whatever, make it, and go ahead and summon uh, Rampage Dragon and blow up your back row. So, well, it's not terrible. So, yeah, two over the Fusion. This card's good. I, I would run this. I would run this if you're running this deck. Because uh, it gives you access to this plays that generally you wouldn't have access to if you're running just Infinity Dot Turbo deck. But hey, and of course this card, card's power. Go ahead and add a Light Machine type monster. Light Machine type monster. So that includes him. Yep. So you can go ahead and search for pretty much almost everybody in this fucking deck. Just go ahead and search. But if you have a Cyber Dragon in your graveyard, which you generally will, because this counts as Cyber Dragon in the graveyard, so then you can activate this to get your search. And like I said. Uh, go activate this, get your search, banish this, summon Cyber Dragon, summon whatever you searched off of this, whether it be this or this, and then bam, you got Infinity, the power. Of course, one more Gecky, wipe my opponent's field, 
uh, and then make more infinities. Soul Charge is fucking busted in this fucking deck. My Soul Charge has always been busted, but it's even more busted in this deck because guess what? Infinity doesn't have to be summoned properly. Like, it literally, if I wasn't running, like, fucking Royal Decree and shit like that, I could run, like, Call of the Haunteds and Oasis. Like, it doesn't have to be summoned properly. I can summon fucking Infinity, you kill it, and I can go, like, oh, okay, Call of the Haunted, Infinity, Effect, give me your Monster X material, like, that's fucking busted. Like, it doesn't even have to be summoned properly. It doesn't even say, you can only special summon this card by, you know, you know, putting it on top of the note. Like, no, it doesn't have to be summoned properly. So, this is a handful of times where, literally, I have one Infinity on the field. Infinity with, you know, Nova, Addiction Material, and let's say, two, right? So, these two, Nova, and then Infinity. You kill that Infinity. You kill that Infinity. I can literally just go, Soul Charge, pay 4,000, summon the two monsters that made the Infinity, the Nova, and the Infinity. The Infinity, take your monster. This Nova, slap another Infinity on it. These two monsters, let's go ahead and exceed into Pleiades. Yes, because of Soul Charge and 4,000 life points, I turned one Infinity into two Infinities and a goddamn Pleiades. It was actually one duel where my opponent actually killed all three Infinities and I Soul Charged all three of them back and then he had to deal with triple Infinity at the, all at the same damn time. Like, this card's already stupid. This card's stupid. This card's stupid. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh's stupid. Like, it's all stupid, but hey, what are you gonna do, right? So, yeah, this card's fucking busted in here. I ran one machine duke to try to, you know, exploit the number generator. Plus, uh, I was worried about it getting kind of cloggy. I ran more when I ran this because, you know, if you, I'm running Forbidden Lance, you can actually summon Quick Draw Forbidden Lance and then play Machine Duke and then summon the two more Quick Draws. But then I started to just like, so I dropped this down to one to exploit the number generator because I only run core. You know, I don't run like more of this or Cyber Valley or anything along those lines. So if I get the if I get multiple machine dudes, I draw a triple and I don't have the core and it's that draw. So I was kind of trying to export the number generator with that one. And I, I have, it worked sometime. Uh, then Forbidden Lance, of course, because uh, instead of, you know, wasting one of my Infinity Negates on this background, I just block myself with Lance. So, you know, and generally, uh, Infinity is generally pretty beefy, like 25, 2700 attack, but how do you beat Infinity? You just run it over. So, generally, people try to summon them, run me over, and then during the damage step, I just go ahead and lance them. So, the power. Like, lance works both ways. Still one of my favorite cards in Yu Gi Oh! Alright, next, of course, triple MST because fuck the back row, triple Road to Creek, it's fuck the back row, and then triple up start to draw into my cards quicker. You know, Hobany. Extra deck, of course, triple Infinity, triple Nova. That's a given. One play, just like I said, I go into them occasionally, but not often, so I just like to have them here. Um, I run this guy because if this card is ever destroyed by, uh, you know, my session destroyed and, and sense of graveyard by opponent's card effect, so for example, I go into Nova before I, and before I go into Infinity, because my opponent goes into Infinity, they turn to me, then I can go ahead and summon this guy who's just the power, because you can actually summon him. So, of course, uh, 4,000 beater can make a second attack, but on monsters, but it can't attack directly, and well, yeah, when it's destroyed, this is 4,000 meter, you know. I'd rather have him than a uh, Cyber and Dragon. That's just how I feel about it. You know, that was just that was just me personally. You know, I decided between the two, and I was like, yeah, I'd rather have him. All right, and then uh, two Fortresses, because there have been a handful of times where I have a mirror match where they go ahead and summon their Infinity, and then I'm just like, oh, okay, well, Special Summon Cyber Dragon and contact with yours. So you can't negate that. You can't negate that. So, you know, Fortress, the power. Definitely run this, because you're probably going to face off against Infinity.dex too, so go ahead and just fuck them up. And then they'll probably fuck you up, so yeah. And then the Rampage Dragon, like I said, I run two of these. This card, I really like it. I really do. Uh, it's two or more Cyber Dragons, so you can do two, but you can do more, and then depending on how many you use, you have to go ahead and destroy back row. It's awesome. You guys know I love destroying back row. And then you can go ahead and send two uh, machine monsters from your deck to the graveyard to go ahead and get uh, additional attacks. And it's not even by on monsters, it's just in general, so the power. I think I dueled one time where this man, a man, it was an attack duel, this guy, he went freaking power barn, summoned this, and it was fucking 4200 with three attacks, that's already the game, and then he fucking activated a limit removal and went up to fucking 8400 and with three attacks. He can fucking OTK your ass three times over, like, re really fucking ridiculous. But, you know, Cyber Dragon's always been that kind of deck with, like, ridiculous high attacking uh, machines, so. You know, it wouldn't be the first time, you know, with Overload Fusion and Future Fusion with the Chimera deck over Dragon. Good times, good times. But, uh, yeah, this card's actually really good and I like it. I just wish that it wasn't so outshined by Infinity. If they got just this, then I wouldn't care. But with this, it's just stupid. And then, of course, the Panzer Dragon. So, there you go. There's the deck profile. I gave my opinion. 
I hate Infinity. I think it should be banned. I'm tired of seeing it, and I really do hope that it's banned. But it really doesn't matter if it's banned for the OCG, because, of course, people do the whole TCG OCG thing where they play OCG cards on a TCG list. So even if they ban Infinity over in the OCG, all they would literally have to do is just play TCG-wise, and then bam, they can play Infinity again, because why the fuck not, you know? So, yep. I'm just going to continue enjoying Infinity, but at least I won't be the one using it. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys with uh, Stu and Stanzi using UA's as now a tag deck. Alright, people, thanks for watching.